Hey guys, this is Jenna with Resort TV One, and today we're at Disney's All Star Movies Resort. I hope you enjoy the video. The All Star Resorts are a value resort here at Walt Disney World. The All Star Movies was the last of the All Star Resorts to be built, and it was built in 1999. And here's the parking lot where you would park to check in or if you're just coming to um, visit the resort. This resort is themed after several different Disney movies. I love this red carpet here as you're walking into the front of the resort. And then there's another red carpet as you walk into the front of the lobby. I love how it makes you feel like you're in Hollywood when you walk in with the stars and the painting behind the check-in desk just makes you feel like you're in Hollywood in California. And also as you walk in, you can smell caramel or caramel popcorn, which is a really neat detail. Across from the check-in desk is a little movie theater with movie theater seats. Here's another look at the red carpet as you walk in. And then a closer look of the painting behind the check-in desk. And here's another look at the theater seats um, over here in the little movie theater. They also had this really neat photo op here with red carpet and the castle for the background. And these are the doors that you would take out to the bus station to get to the different parks or Disney Springs. They have some neat movie pictures here on the wall leading to the food court and the store. They even had a golden Mickey here on display. And this is the store here in the All Star Movies Resort and it's called the Double Feature. There's even a little Dewey here hanging out. This is a pretty big store, and I loved how it was themed like you were in a theater with the lights and the curtains. It was really neat. They even had some all-star resorts specific merchandise. They had a mug and a keychain um, and even a pen and um, some shot glasses. The cash registers were themed really neat too. This one was a box office. And the package pickup was the will call. They had several stuffed animals, including one of my favorites, Stitch. And this cash register was themed like a concession stand, which was really neat because the food was located back here. The food and some of the kitchenware, which you could see they have lots of mugs, which is one of my favorite souvenirs. They even had some neat old Disney posters on the wall. And then the snack bar is where you could get some of your beverages. Here's some of the snack items that they had available. And here's one more look at the big store. Here's another look at the check-in area. It's a pretty big room. And now we're headed into the world premiere food court. I loved how it looked like you were outside on a sidewalk with the lamps beside you. There was lots of room to sit inside with lots of booths and tables.
They also had some Disney posters as you were walking into the food court. And as you get closer to the food court area, I love how it looked like it was um, a theater with the lights. And like I said before, this is set up like a food court, so there's several different places where you can walk up and order different types of food. You can find the menu for this food court either online or on the Disney app. And of course, I had to walk by and see what kinds of snacks they had available. They had different kinds of beer and wine and lots of different drinks to choose from. They even had some whole cakes that you could purchase. I found the dessert spot at the end of the food court. After you get your food, this is where you take your food to pay for it. And here's another area that you can sit in. And I thought this old movie camera was a neat touch. They even had a little bar called the Silver Screen Spirits. Here's the beverage station, and as you can tell, this set was closed, so they were working on these. And then again, another overview of the seating area. And they had some more classic movie pictures as you're walking towards the doors that go outside. And then right before you get to the doors to go outside, they had the Real Fun Arcade. And this was a really nice big arcade. And now we're walking outside, and as you walk outside, you walk under this really big star to get to the pool. Here's a directory of the All-Star Movies Resort. The pool here is themed after Fantasia with Sorcerer Mickey here in the middle. They also had an outside seating area and you could get to the silver screen spirits outside too. The laundry facility was themed like an iceberg. And the kids um, splash zone was themed like a iceberg area as well. Here's a closer look at the pool. There are five themed areas in this resort, and the first one near the pool was Fantasia. So this whole area is themed after Disney's Fantasia movie. I love the big toy soldiers here, and the jack-in-the-box and the ballerina here. I love this side of the Fantasia area even more with the big broomsticks with the pails of water and I like how I liked how it looked like um, waves up on top of the rooms.
and they even had a big sorcerer's hat here as you walked into um, where you would go to get to your rooms. And now we're going to take a little walk underneath the sorcerer's hat. As we were walking out of the Fantasia area, we spotted Donald and Daisy. They would make a good picture up. Now we're heading into the love bug area. This is really well themed with the tools on the side of the building and the checkered flags and of course Herbie right as you're walking into the building. And then across the way, um, as you're walking into the other side of the building, you can see the back of Herbie. And here is the whole car, Herbie the love bug, um, where you can get a good photo op with him. And of course, he's sitting here right in the middle of the winner circle. And here you have a movie marker. And this is right in front of the stairs that you would take up to the second and third floor. And there are parking lots near each of the themed buildings so that you can park your car near your room. Now we're going to take a look at the playground here. It's a fairly big playground, lots of room for the kids to run around and play. And here is the real spot. This is a really neat area that they use to show movies in. And today they were gonna show The Little Mermaid. Now we're going to take a look at the Toy Story area. They use the toy soldier buckets to cover the staircases. This is actually my favorite themed area at this resort. I just love all the details. This side of the building was themed towards Woody with the um, sheriff badges. And this side was themed towards Buzz Lightyear with the spaceships and the planets. And here is the RC racer car. And this is a really neat photo op. You can even sit inside him. And I think this is the neatest part of the Toy Story area. This is where it looks like you're walking into Andy's room and you're a size of the toy. I love the sign on the door that says, Andy's room, keep out, except Molly. And now we're heading into Andy's room and you see Bo Peep and Rex. And on the left, you see a huge Buzz Lightyear and a few of the army men. And on the right is Sheriff Woody. I like how it looks like there's a bookcase behind him and there's even some titles on some of the books. And then there's some blocks beside him that say his name, Woody. And of course, it says Andy on his boot, which is a really neat detail. And over here is a window in Andy's room with the really neat cloud wallpaper. And here's a really big checker game here on the floor with Mickey on the checkers. And here's a closer look at Buzz Lightyear. And I love how it says to infinity and beyond. And then these blocks spell out his name, Buzz. Here's another look at Rex and Bo Peep. And all of the All-Stars have a star that shows your room number. 
Now we're going to take a look at the 101 Dalmatian themed area. And I love how they use fire hydrants to cover the stairs. Another neat detail is they had dog bones on the walkways through the 101 Dalmatian area. I'm a big dog person, so I really love this area. I love seeing all the puppies running on the side of the buildings and um, the really big Perdita here. I think that was her name, Perdita. And then Pongo is over on the other side. Here's a closer look of Perdita. And here is Pongo. Um, it's really neat because they're looking at each other across the way, so that's a really cool detail too. Here's another little overview of this area. And this is one of my favorite things in this area, this picture up here. So it looks like this puppy is watching TV here and then you can get behind the TV and it looks like you're in the TV. So it's a really neat detail. And of course, I had to do this photo op. And the last area that we're gonna look at today is the Mighty Ducks area. This was one of our favorite movies when we were kids, so it's really neat that they still have this here. And they actually have a really neat themed pool in this area too. The laundry area is disguised as a locker room. And leading into each of the buildings um, is a Mighty Ducks hockey mask. Here's a better look at the pool and you can see Goofy over there. And I love the hockey sticks and the hockey pucks on the side of the buildings. and they have a hockey goal around the stairs. And there's another mask leading into this building. And they had a scoreboard here, which is a really neat detail too. Here's another look at the pool and the pretty palm trees that surround the pool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the All Star Movies Resort. Leave us a comment if you plan on staying here in the future or if you've stayed here before. And definitely keep coming back for more videos. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.